Our mobile devices have become the center of communications for many of us, even in this new reality. We text, stream music and video, keep track of our health, connect via social media, FaceTime, and video chat, and more. So, naturally, there were a few things announced at CES in the mobile space, from gaming to connected face masks and wearable displays, to Bluetooth connected smart biking helmets for those cruising around their neighborhoods to get their exercise in. Oh, and rollable displays. Yes, they're coming. Let's take a look at some of the most compelling things I saw. Hey, if you're enjoying this CES coverage, please consider hitting us with that thumbs up, hitting that subscribe, and hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload the latest videos. One thing CES is good for is showing you tech that is on the way. Concepts which may or may not appear in the retail market, but still give you a great idea of what's to come. First up, Razer showed off some pretty awesome concepts in their Project Brooklyn and Project Hazel products. Project Brooklyn is a concept gaming chair for PC and console gamers alike. It features a 60-inch roll-out display, tactile feedback built into the seat, and armrests that roll out into adjustable peripheral tables. Oh, and of course, Razer's Chroma RGB lighting is built in. You'll also find that lighting in this compelling product. Today, we have donated more than one million masks globally. Project Hazel. Razer calls this the world's smartest mask. It combines N95 medical grade respirator protection and detachable, rechargeable ventilators with what they're calling smart pods, which regulate airflow. They say it will filter at least 95% of airborne particles. What's really cool here on the tech side is that the mask is transparent so people can read facial cues or those with hearing impairments can read your lips. And they've integrated Razer Voice Amp technology, which has a built-in microphone and amplifier to help combat that mask muffle. Razer envisions the device coming with a wireless fast charging box, which has a disinfecting UV light interior. I think this is a really cool concept, all things considered, and look forward to seeing if this makes it past concept to commercial viability. And you know what's really viable? Low cost, high quality smartphones. And for that, we turn to TCL's newly announced 20 series phones, earbuds, and what? A wearable display? Yep. Let's start with the phones and specifically of the five models they're focusing on the TCL 25G and 20SE. The SE looks to be their lowest cost phone in the lineup with an almost 7 inch 720p plus display. This is an LTE phone, no 5G here. It has a 5000 milliamp hour battery and up to 18 watts charging. It will have a rear fingerprint sensor and will be running Snapdragon's 460 processor. For context, some great phones in the entry-level market from Oppo, Nokia, and Motorola are all running that same processor. Great devices. You're also going to get four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage that's expandable up to 256 gigabytes. The 25G is an exciting phone because both the previously released 5G UW on Verizon and T-Mobile's Revel were great and still are great 5G phones. This one will be an almost 7-inch full HD plus display with HDR10 support. This phone will be running Qualcomm's Snapdragon 695G chipset with face unlock and a side fingerprint sensor. The battery will be a large 4500 milliamp hours with up to 18 watt Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 plus charging. It's equipped with 6 gigabytes of RAM and up to 256 gigabytes of storage that's expandable to another 256 gigabytes. 
What is most compelling with both is Next Vision 2.0 screen technology. In my review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and its awesome display, I held up the TCL 5G UW with Next Vision turned on, and if I held it in front of a dozen people, very few would be able to tell the difference. That was Next Vision 1.0, so I'm looking forward to seeing how TCL has improved on that in version 2. TCL also announced their new Move Audio S600 earbuds and their wearable display glasses. The earbuds will have hybrid active noise cancellation with a hear through transparency mode, five hours of battery life with ANC on, and an additional 20 hours from the case, which uses USB C to charge. And I'm only going to mention the TCL wearable display, which is a pair of portable glasses that come with two 1080p micro OLED displays. But I'm going to let Juan fill you in on the specifics of that in this video. TCL also showed off some rollable display concepts. I actually really like the thought of rollable displays. Stowed away in a small footprint, they unravel to give you greater screen real estate and could eliminate the need or desire to carry both a smartphone and a tablet. I'm excited to see where the future of displays is going. Now, known for their rugged equipment, we have a new entrant to the mobile gaming arena. Otterbox has a new set of gaming peripherals they announced. They have a mobile gaming clip which attaches your phone to your Xbox controller and folds down for storage, or it can be used as a stand for your phone. You'll also be able to pick up a gaming carrying case so you can game on the go in Otterbox protective style. It's going to protect the triggers and the buttons, the joysticks, everything. It looks to be a solid piece of kit. And this protective style here will shield your brain from a potential biking mishap and keep you connected with your fellow riders. The M1 and M1 Evo from Cena Technologies pairs to your phone via Bluetooth so you can listen to music and navigation, but you can also communicate with other wearers with full duplex communication in English. What does that mean? It's hands-free. You also get an integrated tail light, which is voice controlled. You can set all of this up via the Cena cycling app. And last couple items, last few items here uh, in my mobile coverage, how about mobile audio and headphones? Audio is going to be a big deal in 2021 with video conferencing and music and movie streaming only getting hotter. So Dolby has introduced new technology debuting on Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 laptops, Dolby Voice for PCs. The bottom line is our video conferencing audio often is terrible. It is caca. Sorry, not sorry. Dolby voice technology could be one of those things that you didn't realize you needed until you heard it and now you can't live without it. And then there's Dolby Atmos Music. Paired with Tidal is something I'm looking forward to checking out with Shure's Aonic 50 wireless noise canceling headphones. With new colorways for 2021, these feature noise cancellation and audio pass-through, which are both adjustable, and you can enjoy music and movies both wired and wireless. Of course, with Bluetooth, it supports all, uh, several of the standards, SBC, Aptex, HD, all that. The Shure Plus Play app is what allows you to control all this wired or wireless hotness. You're going to get button-based controls and a headphone amplifier. I'll have more on this product in the coming weeks as we look to review your mobile-based home theater options. And I know many people like to listen to music in the shower, and some of y'all like to sing in the shower, unfortunately. What if I told you you could connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker that is powered by water? Shower Power raised around a quarter of a million dollars as a Kickstarter project and fits any shower head. It uses water flow from the shower to power it. And Ampere, the company who makes it, has even announced an LED version so you can get a light show while you wash your nethers. Sounds like fun. This should be available in quarter one, 2021. I'm definitely going to see if I can get my hands on one and try this out, though I doubt there will be any video of that. Trust me, you don't want to see that. 
Hey, so thank you for watching. I'm Tashaka Armstrong for uh, reviews.org. Um, we have much more coverage coming up. Stay locked, stay tuned here for CES, more gadgets, more streaming news, more um, TV, hardware, all kinds of things coming your way. Uh, IoT, home uh, security system, Steve's got that. We're bringing it all to you. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.